We will be implementing the ChatGPT Kwan using this, these struct instructions from a dot person rules file. Let's bring up the composer. And let's just type them. Please implement this carefully. We can actually do this because Composer knows to refer to the dot person rules file as its main instructions. Once Composer is done, we'll accept all and then run our server with Uvacorn main app dash dash reload. Mango that is provided. And this is what it looks like. Let's ask it to teach us calculus in a single sentence. We just saw that uh, the streaming was actually reading new lines. Let's go to that fix that. We send another message of saying streaming tokens is creating new message lines. We need them to appear in a single line. Our composer will make the changes. And now we'll set the changes, go back to our app, refresh it. You can actually delete all conversations, start a new conversation. It's asked the history calculus in a single sentence, and there we go. And the, our conversation is actually being summarized here by GPT-40 Mini. You can just say hi to a new, in a new conversation, and there is the uh, conversation summarized right here. So let's take a look at the instructions we have written in that through the rules file. But before doing this, uh, writing a simple set of instructions seems simple enough, but it takes quite a lot of learning and getting used to and practice to be able to write good prompts. I have been using Cursor for over 3,000 hours. When I've learned quite a lot about it, and I created that course, my 1,000x master class in the Mitch, and I built projects from start to finish. The files include a video that you can watch along with the code files, such as building a swarm intelligence. Where I could research out, for example, in the latest, how to build an AI scientist. I update this regularly. So if you're serious about using Cursor, uh, this is a no-brainer. I uh, recommend you check it out. Well, link will be down there. So, but this is what we are instructing the her server. We are saying list of features that was implemented with Chad GPT Reba. So we wanted to list the features first. I need to comment them with Fast API SQLite. Absolutely, we didn't do anything in SQLite. This is a mistake on my part. And Daisy UI. Main.py should be in the root directory. Use chat.completions and not open AI chat completions because this is the older library. And GPT-4 O model all has to be at the end of the model name. Make the UI look like chat GPT web app with dark mode. Save all conversations to the side panel with an ID. Put a button to create a new conversation. We shouldn't have set with an ID. So I have sure given it some conflicting instructions, but even then, it was able to do it. With a button to create new conversations, use local stores, do not use a DB. Hit a three, max three word summary of the conversation using GPT-4 Hello Mini and display that is the title of the conversation. Implement a nice icon to delete any old conversation. The API key is expected from the environment variables. Use streaming responses and make sure each stream token displays in the same line and not in their own lines. We had to send another instruction to actually fix this as you sing. Used from OpenAI, import async OpenAI. It was very used in Fast API, and that's going to be async. Follow each instruction carefully with great care. Uh, with a mind foot step by step approach, create all the three files and folders. So this was it. I hope you enjoyed us. Like I said, take a look at my thousand. Rank will be into the new era down below. Let's build a full stack voice notes and transcription. That's actually uh, I just like recording, so we can see that we are using the browser's voice uh, transcription API to actually transcribe this in real time. Very cool, but you can analyze this at any moment. And we get a summary, of course, with the apps keys. You can analyze it again. Let's actually give it the secret X. The secret word is plum, and X is 42. Let's see, uh, X is in the pad, right? Yeah, so this is very cool. Uh, we're going to build this in a single prompt. We are going to use a single prompt for this, uh, very short. Right, let's bring up a composer. We don't uh, create a new one. We don't even have to type in the thing. I mean, it's more than three dots. Because composer knows about the doctor's rules file as instructions. We need this done, accepted, refresh, and we have our transcription. Fairly to start recording about it is now work tree.
this tail dev to purser. And just like that, now we have our transcription uh, running. We can take voice notes uh, and when we pause, we can moralize the script. You're interested in learning how to code with Cursor fast. I built a thousand X code with Cursor masterclass and learned quite a lot rooting with Cursor over 3,000 hours to build me under project. And I have made a uh, sit and ting, a uh, start to finish project builds. Each one of these zip files, tits swarm intelligence, or the latest how to build AI scientist includes a full video on building a complete app from start to finish along with its project files. But if you're serious about uh, learning cursor, this is a no brainer. This is available at my Patreon link will be down below. Thank you. We are going to build a quick full stack landing a page. Uh, this is for my thousand X master class. You can enter emails and it is full stack because it actually, uh, we'll save it to a database by subscribe. You have successfully subscribed to go back to the code to the VB. As you can see, a uh, test to has just been subscribed. So let's just begin, um, quickly. I'm going to delete everything here. So we can start from scratch. I've all put an image PNG for my course uh, in the wood directory. And then just bring up the cursor composer by control shift and I or command shift I. So let's create a new composer from scratch. And let's write our instructions. Great, we have some simple instructions. The spot I may execute it. And then we can read it. Set read a landing page or my cursor course called a uh, thousand X master class use the image, not PNG from root directory. Uh, this is, uh, this is for people to sign up for updates with a DB, which we'll save to a SQL like DB. Also add the link of the course present here. We present the link and we say use fast API days you are and have the main .py in the root directory. Okay. It is written our curtain. I don't have to just accept it all. Uh, we can review it, but let's quickly write it actually. Okay, our app is ready, but looking for a static folder because it's probably detecting the image from the static folder. Or I just added a static folder. It also reloaded and look at this. This is it. If I click on join the course, it takes me to my master cross in which I have 17 Anton logic fields. Uh, I'll the link in the comment, but then um, it's pretty, it actually works. Let's go back to the page and try test uh, at test.com. Uh, I guess the text here should be better. It says subscribe successfully. Let's go back to our code. Then I go to our DB and test.test.com has been added. You order to deploy this user just have to connect it to a, you know, Postgres database or something like that. But let's go back to the composer and say that show the success. Screen is a, a model, and then it make all the changes. We are using cursor with the composer feature. Uh, uh, that's it. It's going to update. Now we are going to accept it after that. Accept all. Let's go back to our page. Uh, let's go back and test it again. Get updates. Well, we have to reload, of course. Uh, test to. Uh, test.com that updates and here we uh, should see the thing there success message but we don't see the uh, image anymore but see what the problem may be we can actually ask the composer to fix it show their image also get it updated there uh, html let's accept you also look for the image in the static folder, which is the actual proper way. So let's move this into the static folder and all the flash. And now uh, we have fixed everything. So this is it. Cursor just works amazingly. If you want to get better at it, I have a course which I've been building. Three months. I've spent over three hours to create 300 projects with Cursor. And I update this regularly. Last time I updated is the 21st. Acron, uh, to VN Nexus, but it has over six hours of, um, I were six hours of 
17 project builds. The latest one is how to build an AI scientist, also like swarm intelligence. And I also have a next year's project. Uh, each one of these zip files include an enter and real time build process video for the project plus the project files. Yeah. Check it out. Thank you.